Hello. Hi, everybody. How's everyone going today? Funny time, I know. Normally I do it at, um, what time? 11. Even I'm confused now. But um, the day kind of got, I had clients today and the day kind of got away from me and so I had to book it in at five so I was in between clients and so I could get my Wednesday Facebook live in, even though I've been popping up a little bit more, it was um, a little bit more at the moment. But um, today I wanted to talk about just my 10 favourite ways to cleanse. Um, last week I talked about some body signs and you know body signs of cleansing, you know things like acne in certain areas, acne here. Other signs that can be signs of you needing to cleanse can be dryness around the mouth, dry lips, can be dandruff, can just be congested skin like blackheads, um, constipation can be a sign, bloating, smelly breath, wind, um, you know, not having a really an, a good bowel motion, water retention can also be a sign. So many, so many signs, but also fatigue and fogginess. And I've noticed recently, even in myself, um, when I just know that I need to, oh, my body needs to cleanse, you know, there's a few signs that I look out for them. And for me, it's kind of like an, a mental and an emotional sign. And I kind of, when I need to just reset, reset the, the button, switch the fl switch, I get this like fogginess kind of here, center head. And that's a sign that, okay, I'm not doing what I need to do, particularly with diet, because diet, I really need to have a really good diet to keep strong and to keep focus so I can do everything that I want to do in the day in terms of work, because I do a lot of research, I'm always working. So that's that's kind of where I'm at, and that's why I want to kind of remain focused. Um, but for others, it might be other things. For you, it might just be keeping your energy through the day so you can keep up with your kids. It might also be cleansing helps with sleep, cleansing helps with body composition, cleansing helps to balance your hormones. Everybody might have a different reason for wanting to cleanse and everyone might have a different, there might be different signs. Um, but in terms of these, these things that are easy to do, definitely these natural things, they're really simple and I find that make, they make a huge difference, huge difference. So number one, the first one being infrared saunas. Now I talk about natural ways to cleanse and it is kind of natural, it's heat, but, um, and it, you know, there aren't any, any negatives, but infrared saunas are so wonderful at getting heavy metals, getting toxins out of the deeper layers of the skin. And what tends to happen is, so our body can protect itself, what it does is it puts the toxins and it puts the chemicals into other areas of our body and sometimes into fatty tissue. So what the infrared sauna helps, it helps to get toxicity out of fatty tissue, out of some areas of the muscle, out of sort of cavities in the body, get it out, you urinate it out and get it out that way. So infrared saunas are fantastic. I find infrared saunas are wonderful to help with the skin, they brighten the skin up. Infrared saunas are great if you've had long-standing hormonal issues, you know, if you've had if you've had high elevated estrogen levels for a long time, infrared saunas are wonderful. If you've had any exposure to heavy metals or you've had any exposure to chemicals or you live near a golf course or you live over a main road and there's lots and lots of petrochemicals, um, you live near gardens where they spray lots and lots of pesticide and I know where I live, um, sort of out near Matraville kind of way, they use, Randwick Council use a lot of freaking Roundup. And it is so bad. It is so bad for us. So we just need to have these extra things through the day to help with getting rid of those. Otherwise, it's going to cause autoimmune disease, can contribute to cancer. It can contribute to um, Alzheimer's. It can contribu contribute to other chronic illnesses, even diabetes, anything that's inflammatory. So we just need to help our body a little bit more. Infrared saunas are fantastic. So they get to those areas. They get it out through the pores. So what's a really great thing to do is actually do some dry skin dry skin brushing. So dry skin brush before your infrared sauna and it's wonderful at getting all these toxins out. I totally absolutely love it. So that's one of my favorite things to do and you can buy like a course of them. Um, you could do them every week, you could do them every two weeks, whatever you, you know, whatever um, financially you can do but it is worth at least going once, trying it once and maybe even just treating yourself to once a month for 40 minutes because it kind of helps to reset the body. Um, dry skin brushing is another, a dry skin brushing is so easy and you can do it daily. Do it before you shower, do it before a bath, but it's really easy to get your skin toned back, get some oxygen to the skin through the blood, you know, it helps to get, get everything there, particularly areas that you might ignore as well, so it's a fantastic, you know, like for ankles, back, bit 
elbows, bits and pieces that maybe don't get to see the loving care that you could give them. By dry skin brushing, you can actually get to all areas of your body. It's wonderful because we detox so much through our skin that we need to allow it to air out. And you know, talking about skin, use something natural on your skin. Use a natural moisturizer. Use something like coconut oil so you're not absorbing all these um, chemicals that's in Nivea, um, that's in Johnson & Johnson, that's in, I'm naming they, I don't normally do this, but I just feel like doing it. You know, those kind of chemical moisturizers. Get yourself something cheap and natural like coconut oil and just use that because then you'll, you, you'll just be getting niceness through your skin. My third one is oil pulling, and you know, if you know me and you've seen these before, you know that I love oil pulling. I, it's just one of the best things. It cleans your mouth out, it gets rid of candida, it gets rid of toxins. It's a wonderful thing to do first thing in the morning. Oil pull in the morning for about 10 minutes. If you can't do that, make sure you do some kind of mouth hygiene in the morning. So dry skin brushing, flossing, and then brushing your teeth before you have water. Get out the gunk that's come up in the night. Your body has been trying to detox in the night, up through your esophagus, out, up stomach, esophagus, even lower intestines, up, up, up into the mouth. Get rid of that before you drink water and before you put things back into your body because otherwise you're just going to pop it down there in your stomach. So, um, And it's the same with if um, you have like mucus, if you have a cold. I know a few people that like swallow the... <laughs> Makes me feel swallow the mucus. So they swallow, swallow the mucus down. Now the mucus has white blood cells, mucus has fungus in, mucus has um, maybe virus in. It's got lots of nasty things in it. So make sure that you're excreting it. Get it out, like into a tissue. I'm not saying spit on the street, but get it into a tissue, like especially if you've got a cold. Get everything out and oil pulling will do that. Now when it comes to my fourth thing, it's vegetables. And this can be really difficult for some. It can be, it can be um, the hardest. But this is so wonderful, and I do this with all of my clients, and it's getting you up to around six cups of vegetables a day, six cups of vegetables, aiming for more, so up to six cups of vegetables a day. Now, a lot of you, when you go through your daily breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll actually see that you're probably only having two to three cups a day of vegetables. Vegetables are so important. Vegetables will help you lose weight. Vegetables will help prevent cancer. Vegetables will get rid of toxins in your body. Vegetables will assure your bowels working properly, you're getting all that fibre, and there's so many antioxidants in vegetables, they're so good for longevity, so good for brain health. You know, if you're, if you're exposed to toxins, and, or if you're a smoker, or if you drink alcohol, or if you're exposed to toxins, you'll find that having plenty of vegetables, up to, you know, up to six cups a day, even more, actually helps with mental clarity. So the, the chemicals in vegetables help clear the brain, they help with your moods, and they help you feel happy. So it's not just that cleansing, but they are so very important. I think we, we don't realize how many we should be having, and that's vegetables. You know, vegetables like your broccoli, um, your Brussels, your spinach, fennel, um, I've forgotten all my vegetables, rocket, lettuce, cucumber, celery, all of those kind of vegetables, tomatoes, capsicum, all of those getting, you know, six plus cups a day. So just, just work up and just work up and make sure you have a salad at lunchtime and then, and then have a couple of cups of vegetables with your dinner time and just start increasing them slowly. But it's really going to help with cleansing. It's going to help with regulating your hormones. It's going to help with weight. It's going to help with PMT. It's going to help with all. It's going to help with skin. It will help with all of that. Number five is chlorella, and chlorella is actually really easy to do. It is a supplement. Um, you can get it from pharmacy. You can get it from a health food store. Some supermarkets will sell it. But chlorella is a really high potent um, water weed, and it actually has it's it's got a lot of chlorophyll in, which is wonderful at detoxing. So it's actually this is great to protect if you're around X-ray. So if you work in a lot of hospitals or you're around X-ray, or you work or you're a flight attendant or you fly a lot for work. Or you're a pilot I would highly recommend taking chlorella because it's super protective against those kind of um, chemicals but particularly like x-ray kind of um, environment so I totally totally would advise it um, number six is apple cider vinegar now apple cider vinegar is not only wonderful to regulate your blood sugar so apple cider vinegar helps to regulate blood sugar which will help with weight around the belly but what apple cider also does is it helps with your digestion and then what it helps is it helps you to excrete things when you have your bowel motion. So what I would do is if you know you've got diabetes in the family or blood sugar problems in the family, have about two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in water, about this much water, and just have it before each meal. And that's going to help 
buffer your tummy and help with digestion and it's going to help with bloating and it's going to help with absorbing the nutrients in the food but it's also going to help with your blood sugar levels and you're going to crave less sweets crave less sugar afterwards so that's a really great thing to do if you want to cleanse and you're looking to cleanse with apple cider vinegar have it in the morning so once you've done your mouth routine two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar either Bragg's or a nice one that you can get from your health food store um, or some supermarkets do do the fermented style two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in a big glass of water and have it first thing in the morning and it's wonderful at detoxing the colon detoxing the stomach and just getting everything moving as well and it will help if you get a little bit constipated as well number seven tip is really 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 simple um, and so no I think there's no excuse not to do this It's the most simple one but it is fantastic for the gut and it's just a, having one raw carrot a day raw carrots have this wonderful kind of fiber in them um, and they're a great snack and of course they've got lots of nutrients in but they've got this wonderful fiber in which acts as kind of like a sweep through the gut so it's a really nice thing to, to clean the gut out so you know one or two carrots a day is a really easy snack to have and um, it's super cleansing great for the gut and you'll also find that that's going to help with constipation and it what it what it stops is it stops that um, toxin and that hormone reabsorption in the lower colon so it gets everything moving a little bit more and a little bit more out number eight is activated charcoal now activated charcoal again is a supplement but it's really fantastic if you go on overseas anywhere where there's lots of tummy bugs so you know if you get sort of a bad stomach when you're um you go into africa or asia or some countries um or bali or places like that it helps to get rid of a bug or if you know that you've caught a tummy bug it helps to get the bug out of your system they actually do they actually give it to people um when they might have overdosed on some things because it helps to absorb so but what it does is if you take a couple of capsules before bed it helps to absorb all the toxins from the day and it helps to actually cleanse your body so you could do a nice routine with um activated charcoal and just take a couple a night and then that will help to remove everything you need to make sure though you're having plenty of water because sometimes it can it can back you up because it really is that cleansing so make sure you're drinking a lot of water with it but i love activated charcoal Number nine, we talked about veggies, but number nine is making sure that if you're um, doing paleo or caveman diet, or you're just a tip, you're a meat eater and you seven days and you have your meat and three veg, whatever it is, perfectly healthy. But it's actually to do a vegetarian day a week. Having a vegetarian day a week actually helps to cleanse the system, actually supports your liver because there's all these things kind of going on when we have protein, we have to get use certain digestive enzymes, we have to mobilize the pancreas, the gallbladder, um, we have to break down certain amino acids, we have to use B vitamins, and there's huge processes going on. But if you can just give your digestive tract a break for like one day and do a vegetarian day, even like a really just light food, you, I like to do something like I have that super cleanse soup, I don't know if you saw that, um, I did a couple of weeks ago that detox soup, which was, um, I can't remember now, off the top <laughs> and I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. It was like broccoli. What did I put in it? Oh, onion. Oh, there was. Oh, it was so simple. Beans and beans. Yeah, beans. Um, anyway, I made like this detox soup, and I had that for a couple of days, and I felt pretty good afterwards. I felt pretty good. And so, just doing something like that a day a week is great for you and great for the rest of the family. And it's a simple way to cleanse. Um, and it can be actually quite cheap having a vegetarian day and not having to buy all the um, amazing meat that they've got out there, especially if you're into organic and free range and grass fed. It can be expensive, so it can be quite a cheap night, quite a cheap feed. Number 10 is to get your polyphenols. So polyphenols are wonderful at detoxing, but polyphenols, they cleanse the body. Oh, but they're so important. They're so important for the brain health. You'll find these will protect against dementia, protect against Alzheimer's. They will increase your memory. They will protect against brain fog. They are so wonderful. I can't speak more highly of polyphenols. You'll find polyphenols in berries, so like raspberries, um, blueberries, blackberries, any kind of berry fruit. Um, they're really high in green tea, so having like a green tea a day is good. They're high in dark chocolate, so the, my favourite dark chocolate is actually the lint. So go um, get the like the lint, 70, 75, 80% lint. That's really good for you. Wonderful for brain. It's wonderful at detoxing the brain. And the polyphenols are just wonderful antioxidant in the body. Um, also coffee. So if you have one coffee a day, you can get that protective 
aspect from the polyphenols from the coffee and also what the polyphenols do is they feed your good bacteria in the gut so they've kind of got that they've got the effect of helping the brain but also helping the gut as well um, I love them hey Megs how are you is Penelope home <laughs> is Penelope home from school um, can you just buy apple cider vinegar at the supermarket? Yeah, yeah, there's, they do have. So when you're buying apple cider vinegar, try and you want to look for organic. But what you want to look, the one in the supermarket is, the one in the, the health food store is called Bragg's. You want it to look a little bit murky. So Spiral do it, Melrose do it, Bragg's do it. Um, you don't want it to be 100% clear. It needs to have a little bit of murkiness because what that, um, hey Penelope, hope you enjoyed school. <laughs> so cute oh so cute they should have like a two way um yeah so you so as long as it's got like a murkiness that's fine yeah so that's all good so those are my 10 my 10 easy some of them aren't as easy so we've got the infrared sauna the dry skin brushing the oil pulling vegetables, the chlorella, the apple cider vinegar, one carrot a day, it's so easy, a raw carrot that is, um, activated charcoal, a vegetarian day a week, um, and then your polyphenols, like your berries, like a dose of berries a day or something like that, or um, some dark chocolate, or you know, a green tea a day is really good. Also, rosehip tea is very good, um, hibiscus tea is very good, any of those red teas, they're high in polyphenols. Um, I love hibiscus tea, it's really great for the liver, um, and rosehip is a really strong antioxidant as well, so any of those. There we go guys, they were my 10 favourite ways to cleanse. Um, so that's it for today, thank you so much for joining, thank you for joining Penelope, and oh, if you haven't already, the free 5 day body bounce back plan is starting on the 25th, it's just, it's completely free, so um, you can sign up in the link above. It's five days of um, motivation, but kind of like steps to get you into things, steps, you know, step by step, how to get you back, how to kind of get your motivation back, how to get your health back. And it's just some really great, simple things. Facebook page with the motivation. You'll get daily videos, um, daily inspiration, some daily advice, and we kick off on the 25th. So it'd be great if you can join us. Just click the link above and um, you'll be invited to the page and you'll, you'll get the um, introduction email. So thanks guys for joining. And um, thanks, Megan. Yeah, Claire, activated charcoal is amazing. Absolutely amazing, cleaning the gut out. Um, so just take it before before bed is a good time to kind of cleanse out. Um, really, really great. And it's always good to keep if you're going overseas as well. Bye, guys. Have a great night.